major renovation for historic Broadway theater is now complete. It's a process we've been following for nine months here on First and Four. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon was on hand for the big reveal and gives you a first look. Sandy. Dave, together we have watched the Helen Hayes Theater come back to life. Broadway's smallest theater is one of the finest after a nonprofit theater group brought it back to life with tens of millions of dollars from the city and from private donors. A Broadway beauty has been reborn thanks to the nonprofit Second Stage Theater Company, which has brought a tradition of diversity from off-Broadway to what was once called the Great White Way. Dedicated to presenting work by living playwrights with an emphasis on celebrating work by women and people of color. And I think that there are very few Broadway theaters that are around that have made that same commitment. On hand to see the Helen Hayes come back to life were the stars of the theater's first production in the renovated space. Chris Evans, best known for playing Captain America, and Michael Sarah will open in less than a month after a transformation by the group where Brooke Shields is on the board. The beauty of what they've done here too is make it accessible to communities that don't necessarily go to theater or have not been introduced or can't afford theater. Tony Goldwyn from ABC's Scandal has been active in the second stage group for a quarter of a century. We have some incredibly um, you know, uh, committed and passionate and generous donors who understand how much the theater means to New York City. And, you know, look, this the Helen Hayes Theater is a real gem. With one eye on the past and another on the future, all involved took Broadway's smallest theater back to the future. And we've watched as just like the old show tune goes, bit by bit, Carol Rothman and her crew were putting it together. Broadway was the right home for second stage and our commitment to living American writers. Buying and restoring this gem was a process that took a decade, but the wait was worth it. It's hard to imagine a more elegant place to see the best American plays. Plays with big stars, Dave and Liz. 